morning uh, Pilates session today. So um, we're still in lockdown, the weather's still glorious, so I am doing things that I don't normally do and I'm feeling a lot um, sort of <laughs> less mobile and a bit stiffer, particularly in my lower back and my legs. So I'm looking at a little bit of flexibility, um, particularly for the back today. Um, but an all-round session, trying to do some of the things maybe we haven't done before. What I am going to do is do a warm-up seated today, and we'll see what you think about that. You may not enjoy it, you may. So we'll try and do about 30 minutes from start to finish from a mat position. Okay, enjoy. I'm going to get myself onto my mat. Do excuse, Sam the dog is right next to me, which is his rightful place. So there's no point in me trying to move him. He'll just end up in another position. So we're going to start off in a nice comfortable position. I'm going to see if I can create that lovely length in the back of my neck. I'm going to relax the shoulders and we're going to start today with just some breathing. So we're going to focus on that breath out. We're going to focus on that breath in. So as we're breathing in, we're imagining that we're filling these lungs sideways. We're going to relax the shoulders, lengthen through that spine, open up the chest, open up that lower back. And as we breathe in gently through the nose, we're going to think about breathing almost in the side of your ribs. And as you breathe out, we're going to take that soft breath out through the mouth. It's almost an H sound. And we're going to focus on that breathing. And then as we breathe in, we're going to take that squeeze of the shoulders up to the ears. As we breathe out, just imagine those shoulders sliding away from the ears. So we're going to take that breath in. And as the shoulders relax, in time with that breathing, we're going to breathe out. So in Pilates, all our movements are in time with our breathing, our own breathing. So you can move listening to your body. Now we're going to see if we can take that breath in. We're going to circle those shoulders and we're going to slide those shoulder blades down the back towards the bottom. We're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out. I'm being interrupted. We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, just see if you can slide those shoulder blades down the back towards your bottom. We're going to see if we can lengthen through the spine. We're going to imagine that bucket of water in the pelvis. And we're going to see if we can tip some water out of the back of the bucket, then out of the front of the bucket. Okay, so we're sitting nice and tall. We're getting that rocking of the pelvis, really important in Pilates, really important in maintaining that flexibility in that lower back. Good. So as we tip water out of the front of the bucket, you notice this back arches slightly. As we tip water out of the back, the back flattens out. So we're going to find that neutral position now. We're going to find that neutral position. We're just going to relax those shoulders. We're going to tighten that belt somewhat. So imagine that corset. We're just going to pull the strings, draw that tummy button in towards the spine. And we're going to just lengthen through that spine. Now, we're just gently drawing that corset in. We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're lifting the chest over those thighs. And then we're going to tighten that belt again. We're going to breathe in. We're almost pushing that tailbone down into the floor, stacking each segment of the spine, finishing with the head. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing. See if we can just lengthen out these legs. We're going to see if we can bring these arms underneath the chest.
chest. We're going to draw those shoulder blades together and down. We're going to tighten this belt. Keep that chin in line with the wrists and we're going to take a gentle twist one way. We're going to come back to centre, relax those shoulders. Gentle twist the other way, relax the shoulders, come back to centre. So all the while we're thinking about that breath out as we move away from centre, breath into return. Breath out and in, good. We'll take one more either side, breath out, keep lengthening through that spine, keep those shoulders relaxed, and then we're going to come back to centre. We just see if we can bring those feet back up to that kneeling position. We're going to come back to that rocking of the pelvis. Now what we're going to see if we can do is we're going to tilt that pelvis Keeping that chin in line with that chest, we're going to see if we can press the lowest segment of that spine down into that mat. Then we're going to tighten that belt, we're going to come all the way up and we're going to lift the chest over those thighs, roll all the way up, tilt, we're going to gently roll, we're going to come all the way up, lifting that chest, good. Okay, that's lovely. So it's all with control, all timed with that breathing. Tighten that belt, relax the shoulders. Feel that wonderful stretch of the lower back. If you feel like allowing those arms to, to, to support you, we can have them here or we can have them here. Okay. Now we're going to take one more, we're going a little bit further down each time. Now, if we had a tail, we'd be tilting that pelvis, pushing that tail between our knees, pressing each little segment of the spine down into that mat, and we're going to lengthen out, give these hip flexors a little bit of a rest. Good. So we've still got that belt tightened up to three or four. We're imagining that long spine. We're not allowing that sort of back to arch away from the floor and that tummy to stick up. So keep pushing that tail, that imaginary long tail, towards, she says, where towards? Towards your heels. Now we're going to see if we can bend one knee and the other knee. We're going to bring both feet together and keeping that belt, keeping that corset just that little bit tighter than normal, we're going to let the knees gently fall one way and then the other. So we're breathing out as we move away from centre, breathing in, everything controlled with that belt like muscle. Arms relaxed to the side. Good. And we're just breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, and in. Really nice exercise just to get that spine loosened up, mobilised. Now I'm going to walk these feet hip width apart. We're going to see, I see if I can come down a little bit, it seems to be a little bit dark there. We're going to see if we can make sure those big toes are pointing at 12 o'clock and we're going to place the hands, fingers pointing towards the pubic bone, thumbs towards the belly button and we're going to take that little pelvic tilt again. Now, we're going to see if we can tilt the pelvis and we're rocking that pelvis so the thumbs are slightly higher than the fingers. Then we're going to bring that pelvis back to what we call our neutral spine. There's a natural curve at the base of it and the fingers and the thumbs are about the same level. Okay. Then we're going to take our pelvic tilt and we're going to see if we can get those fingers higher than the thumbs. So when we talk about tilting our pelvis, this is what I want you to imagine, that your fingers are higher than the thumbs. 
When we come back so that the fingers and the thumbs are level, that's our neutral spine. What we want to try and avoid of is that position where the back arches considerably and the thumbs are higher than the fingers. So let's find our neutral spine, relax the hands now. We're going to take that tilt so the fingers would be higher than the thumbs. Squeeze the buttocks and we're going to peel the spine away from the mat. We're going to come into bridge position. Now in this position, the knees are pointing straight up towards the ceiling. My feet are on the floor, heels, ball of the feet, and then I'm gonna come all the way back down. So I'm starting at the top of the spine, and I'm imagining that I'm pressing each little segment of the spine into the mat one at a time. So I'm breathing in to prepare, tightening my belt, tilting that pelvis, peeling that spine away from the mat like Velcro away from a strip, squeezing these bottom muscles, breathing in at the top, and then as I breathe out, I'm bringing it all the way back down with control. So let's see if we can do that again. You can do as many of these as you feel comfortable. It's a wonderful movement to strengthen the bottom, the backs of the legs, it's wonderful for flexibility of the spine. It's superb in getting those really deep muscles. Pilates is all about those deep muscles, which is why we use quite a lot of visualization. So I really want you to see if you can imagine, put yourself in that picture. Picture what's happening on internally in the body. Now, when we get to here, if you feel a dull ache in the lower back, I'm gonna tuck my top in. It could be that we're pushing into the ribs and allowing that back up to arch. So make sure in that neutral spine, keep squeezing and then bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can bring one knee and the other knee into the chest, into the chest. At this point, I'm gonna see if I can move down a little bit. Okay, I seem to creep up on this side. Okay, so we're bringing those knees into the chest. Now what I'm gonna try and do is just lengthen out this leg. Okay, I'm getting a little stretch of the hip flexors, a little stretch of the bottom muscles here, and then I'm gonna bring this knee in, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Good. Whoa, that's a nice stretch of these hip flexors. Nice stretch for the glutes because we've been working with them in the bridge. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of abdominal work now. It is not going to be a sit up, okay? But we are going to strengthen these muscles here. So we want those feet hip width apart. We want to tighten this belt, but we want to make sure that we're not pulling this neck. So I'm gonna put a hand there just to maintain the length in the neck and to support my head. I want you to imagine you've got a little orange between your chin and the chest. And all we're gonna do is place one hand over this belly. Now draw those tummy muscles away from that belly. We're gonna, away from that, draw the tummy muscles away from the hand. We're gonna draw in, squeeze, and we're gonna lift the rib cage, so we're almost clearing the mat just a fraction with these shoulder blades, and then we're going to come down with control. Notice I'm not doing this, so keep looking at the ceiling. We're going to breathe in, we're going to breathe out. It's a small movement. We're holding that neutral spine. I'm going to change hands. You can see my hand from this position. I'm not using my arms at all. I'm trying to shorten the distance between the base of the ribs and the top of the pelvis. And the only thing that's going to do that is by contracting the muscle that connects the base of the ribs to the top of the pelvis. Good. So imagine this muscle shortening. Draw in with that tummy button. Breathe out, squeeze in here. Don't let that tummy down. It's a small movement. If we want to make it harder, 
We can take both hands behind the head, but make sure you draw that tummy button in. Lovely, we're gonna do one more of these, okay? One more of these and we're gonna hold it there. So, keep the shoulders as relaxed as you can, draw that tummy button in, we're just lifting those shoulder blades a fraction off the mat, and then we're gonna come all the way down with control. Good work, friends. Now we're gonna see if we can maintain that neutral spine, tighten the belt, Breathe in, we're going to bring one knee, one leg into tabletop and we're going to balance that glass of water on the shin. Let's breathe out and bring the other leg into tabletop. So those knees directly over the hips, okay? Now, all we're going to do is push that thigh away from the rib cage, and then we're going to bring it back to position. We're going to breathe out. This is our toe dips. Some people call them knee folds. We're breathing out and in. Now take your awareness into that lower back. As we lower that knee, the lower back should not be moving away from the floor. We shouldn't be arching our back or tilting that pelvis. Okay, we're going to do one more on this side and then we're going to change legs. Now we're going to toe dip with this side. Now if you're finding that too challenging, what we can do is take one leg down and work with one leg in tabletop, okay? Principle is still the same. We don't want the back to arch away from the mat. We're keeping everything absolutely stable. Everything is stable. So we're breathing out and we're breathing in. Good. So if we want to keep it more challenging, but make sure these shoulders are relaxed, make sure your face is relaxed, hands relaxed. Now, we're going to do alternate. If we're working with one leg in tabletop, we're going to do four on the left, four on the right. Good. Otherwise, we're going to do eight alternate. Right. And then left. Good. Okay, so I can feel my shoulders creeping up, so I'm going to just let those shoulder blades melt into the mat. I'm imagining I've got a spirit level across my hip bones, and that little red dot is right in the middle below my belly button, and I don't want it wobbling, don't want it moving. We're going to take one more, and then we're going to bring those knees into that chest. Give those abdominals a little bit of a a rest. But the next thing we're going to do, give these hip flexors a little bit of a rest. So we're going to see if we can bring ourselves onto our sides. We're going to do one little exercise on our side. And I'd be saying to you that I was really struggling with my back after the gardening. So I'm going to do a little exercise to stretch out the chest. So you might have a towel that you can put under your head here because we're actually going to take one palm over the other. Where hips are nicely stacked, I'm going to actually roll this up. Now, keep that hip nicely stacked on top of this one because we're going to just open out that door. I'm going to have to open through the fire grate thing and we're going to breathe in. Good. So draw that shoulder away from the ear as you breathe out, keep that hip. We're almost pushing that top hip forwards. So imagine, imagine I balance a glass of champagne. Well, actually, champagne, it's, it's, it's only quarter to 10 in the morning here. So this is no time for champagne. It's a coffee, it's a cup of coffee. Good, breathing out. And then we're going to breathe in. And then from this position, I'm going to lengthen out my legs and I'm going to come over onto my front. Now, what we're going to do next is a little bit of lengthening for these hip flexors, a little bit of work for the hamstrings. So, we're going to see if we can support that head. We're going to lengthen here. 
we're going to draw the tummy button away from the mat and we're simply going to bring that heel towards the bottom and then we're going to push that big toe away. Okay, so breathing out, breathing in here, breathing out and lengthening, breathing out and lengthening. And imagine those hip bones just sinking into the mat, draw that tummy button away from the mat. So we're imagining that we're lying on that bed of ice, it's freezing cold and our belly, oh, there's nothing worse than getting cold ice on your belly button. So we're drawing that belly button away from the ice. And then we're gonna release there. Now, we're gonna really squeeze these bottoms, ready for swimming legs. So relax the shoulders, tighten that belt, we're gonna squeeze and bring it down. We're gonna squeeze, we're gonna do alternate legs just to start off with. So we're gonna imagine that hot cup of coffee. This time, I've placed it at the base of your spine. You're gonna squeeze and lower down with control. Try not to let that tummy dome into the mat. Try not to let this happen. So we were doing this to start with, okay? Now we want that leg straight. We're moving from the hip, not from the knee. Good. Squeeze. So the hip flexors in the front of the leg are having to relax to allow the glutes and the lower back to do their work. Good. Breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Now we're going to relax there. We're going to bring ourselves up onto our hands and knees into that kneeling position. So we've got this long back, long back, okay? I'm looking behind me now, so I'm not even going to look at you when I'm doing this. We're going to lengthen through these arms. Watch out if we're sort of doing this sort of thing. Straighten through those elbows, lift the chest, draw those shoulder blades away from the ears. And then we're going to see if we can take our cat stretch, breathing out, drawing that tummy button, tightening that belt to notch three or four. And again, as we draw that spine towards the ceiling, we're looking towards our knees, then looking at that invisible line at the top of our fingertips. Breathing out, breathing in, good. Breathing out, and breathing in. Then we're just gonna stretch these shoulders out a little bit. We're gonna come into child's pose and just relax, stretch through those fingertips and just push that tailbone to the back of the heel. If that's not comfortable, we can bring those elbows here. Good. Okay. Now, let's see if we can do a little bit of work for this back. So, again, we're going to tighten through these glutes. We're going to use the lower back. We can support the back here if we prefer. Or we're going to bring those hands and relax the shoulders away from the ears. Now draw your shoulder blades together and tighten that belt. We're going to lift this chest. We're going to reach for the outside of those ankles. Keep that belt muscle active. Draw the tummy button in. Breathe out. Come back. So, breathing out. And we're breathing in to come back. We must do a bit of both. It's no good just breathing in or breathing out. Reaching. Now with this exercise, we're working these lower back muscles. The bottom muscles are having to work as well. So try not to overdo it. So if we know we've got a history of back issues, just take it as far as your body says, yeah, that feels about right. And what we're doing is strengthening these lower back muscles. 
Keep drawing those shoulder blades together and down. And we're going to take one more. We're going to reach. We're going to bring it all the way down. And again, we're going to see if we can take you straight into child pose. So now we're stretching out that back. Good. Stretch out those fingertips all the way to the very edge of those nails. And then we're going to bring it all the way back down. Let's do something for the upper back. So something a little bit different. We, oh, she says, no, we're not because that's in my way. So we're going to see if we can take that W or even almost an L shape, but we make, want to make sure those elbows aren't above the shoulders. So bring yourself to a nice comfortable position. We're going to see if we can tighten the belt, make this bottom nice and relaxed now, like jelly. Draw the tummy button away from that ice block we're lying on. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then bring it down. Now, when we lift this hand, I'm going to get you to imagine that we've got a little tennis ball under the fingertips and one underneath this forearm. And I'm going to be getting you to imagine that you're rolling the balls forwards and backwards. So, find your position, relax those shoulders, tighten the belt, bottom like jelly. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. So we're breathing out as we do that. And then we're going to breathe in, we're going to roll the balls forwards, we're going to roll the balls all the way back. Don't lose the balls. Breathe in, and we're going to breathe out. Good. Rolling those tennis balls forwards and backwards, that forehead just relaxing on the mat or on the towel that we sometimes put underneath it. Breathing in. Only as far as you feel comfortable. So if that's as far, don't be tempted to overreach and put pressure on the shoulders. Good. It's all about the squeeze back, guys. Really work those back muscles. One more if you can. Squeeze it back and relax. Good. Okay, let's take a cat stretch. Let's stretch out that lower back so we're particularly pushing into those palms, drawing those shoulder blades up, breathing in, breathing out. And then we're going to come down. We're going to walk those hands forwards, lower ourselves down. And this time, we're going to see if we can take that open door exercise on the other side. Okay. So, taking that towel underneath that head, we're going to just make sure these hips are stacked and we're going to breathe out and we're going to breathe in. Good. We're going to breathe out. You can really feel that front of the body just opening up, get so tight especially if we're doing more work on the computer than normal. And then we're going to take one more. And what we'll do now is just see if we can loosen off those knees and we're going to bring ourselves onto our backs. Good work, everybody. Good work. Now, I'm going to give us one little exercise on our back. We're going to sit up and then we're going to pretty much finish off. I've got this band, you don't have to use the band, you can use a towel, you can use any sort of length or something, but we're just going to see if we can get a little bit of hip mobility going and a little bit of back of the leg. Remember I told you my leg was feeling sore from my gardening? So we're going to flex that foot point, good for calf flexibility as well. Okay, now I'm going to put that big pencil into my big toe, didn't hurt a bit. And I'm gonna see if I can find that neutral spine. I can keep that leg bent if it's hard to do. And we're gonna see if we can draw those circles using that pencil in my big toe. So nice and controlled, generally breathing out 
as we move away from center, breathing in as we return to center. So we're going to do four or five circles clockwise, four or five circles anti-clockwise. So nice and controlled. Now what we're going to remember is that spirit level I like to put across your hip bones. So imagine that spirit level lying there. The red dot is right in the middle and we need it to stay there. So if we start moving those hips to help the legs, that dot's going to start wobbling side to side. Now we're just going to hold it there and I'm going to see if I can gently, gently draw that leg a little bit closer. You'll feel it here. You might feel it here. Breathe out. And then we're going to bend that knee, we're going to change legs, good. So, again, we're just going to start with that flexing and pointing, flexing and pointing, good. Really nice for that calf flexibility, ankle mobility, good. Now, choose the position of that supporting leg and we're going to see if we can start with those clockwise circles. I like to start my circles a little bit smaller. I like to see where I'm at. Don't want to injure myself. So we're just going to see, also I've noticed I've got that fireplace thing there. So I'm going to just keep it nice and controlled, which I should be anyway. And I'm just using my breath, using that belt-like muscle to control the position of my pelvis. And just relax into it. This breathing is so helpful while we're in this current situation. Now we're going to bring it back. I'm going to see if I'm going to point my toe. If you prefer flexing, that's fine, but I really want to get these muscles here. So I'm going to point my toe, lengthen through that leg, just draw it a little bit closer, and then I'm going to bend my knees. Good. Okay. Now some of you will feel comfortable using the roller. Okay. Some of you will want to just take your hands here and push yourself up. Some of you will actually want to take the thigh and push this foot down and bring yourself up to that seated position. Okay. So, we're going to finish off. We're going to take these feet nice and wide. And we're going to think about that really nice length through the spine. And we're going to just see if we can bring these hands into that prayer position and sitting nice and tall, we're going to just take this little twist one way and the other way. Now, for some of you, we'll just stay with this. Some of you may feel comfortable adding that little seated flex of the spine as we come up, lift that chest. So I've got my big Easter egg, I'm lifting my chest over that Easter egg as we twist, breathing out, breathing in, good, open up that chest, breathing out, and let's see, now some of you may feel happy, I'm not sure if the fireplace is going to let me, I don't think it is. Relax those shoulders. I'm going to have to go back to this one. And then we're going to come all the way up. We're going to bring those legs here. Now, I'm going to think about bending my knees, bringing myself into that kneeling position, and we're going to stretch out the hip flexors. So, I'm going to slide one foot forwards, and I'm going to take Put my left foot forwards, I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to take my right hand here, I'm going to tuck that in, and I'm going to lift my chest, so I'm stretching here. Good. Now if that's no good, just leave that knee down, and we can lift the chest. Okay. Let's see if we can change this. So, I'm going to slide this foot forwards. So now I've got my right foot forwards, I've got my right hand inside my right thigh, and I'm going to just tuck that left knee under and straighten. I'm going to lift that chest, draw my shoulders away from my ears. Good. 
And remember, if this is no good for you, you can drop the knee down, you can lift that chest, just try to keep pushing that tail down rather than letting it stick out. And then we're gonna bring it down, slide this foot backwards. Let's come into child's pose, this time bringing those elbows behind you. We're breathing in and we're breathing out. Now, my friends, I'm going to finish us off with a little stretch in a seated position. You can stand if you prefer it, but we're going to take the straddle position. We're going to slide those shoulders down away from the ears, drawing that tummy. We're going to soften this supporting elbow. We're going to breathe out. We're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out. And we're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out. And as we lengthen up, relax and soften those shoulders. And then we'll take a roll of those shoulders those shoulders down. So that was our seated Pilates class. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm sure I've left out loads of things I meant to because as you all know the people that come to my classes I start off on one tangent and then I go off on another but it's been a pleasure having your company. So I shall crawl over to you. I shall turn you off and I look forward very much to seeing you at the next class.